Hey guys, what is up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's been a couple weeks since my last video. Uh, I've been crazy busy. Uh, feels like I haven't had a chance to sit in this chair and record a video for quite a while. Um, um, so it feels good to be back, sort of settled in where I can record some content and, and produce uh, videos as I want. Um, in this video, I want to talk about a few things. I want to talk about your portfolio as a UI UX designer. I want to talk about LinkedIn, YouTube really quick, and sales in general, all right? Um, and these things, things that I want to talk about will propel you and assist in adding value to your skill set and uh, in your career and positioning yourself to be in a better position to acquire or attract recruiters, managers, and really position yourself for success for long term. First off, I get a lot of emails from uh, designers asking me to review uh, their portfolios. Now, portfolio is one of the vital, I think I always say, I had a podcast several years ago where I said, your portfolio is your golden ticket into a job, into, um, you know, into another job, uh, to land your first job, etc. You have to have a portfolio. And quickly, um, I always recommend having a personal website, like your own website, rather than like Behance or Dribble, just relying on those things alone. I prefer you to have your own website. Why? Because that's where you can really um, show your personal brand. All right. So now, in, of the folks that are asking me to review their portfolio, listen, my philosophy is there's no right and wrong on a portfolio, all right? Everyone has a portfolio and you need to continue to add to it, even myself, all right? So when somebody's saying, Mike, check out my portfolio, I will never, I will never uh, say your portfolio is, is not good or your portfolio is this. Uh, in a sense, you have a portfolio which is above everyone else. It puts you in a position where those that are lacking on their portfolio, um, you're already at an advantage. Now, the advice that I have for people, um, for aspiring designers is this, and this is a common thing that I always see, is a lot of times you spend a lot of effort into the actual portfolio site itself and less on the actual work, all right? So there's, a, there's a, something you wanna keep in mind as a designer. Your work is a thousand times more important than the actual portfolio, all right? So you being able to produce um, mock-ups and show your process and show uh, a clear a, or show your thought process in solving problems in UI design uh, and showing your understanding of the UX design process is far more important than the actual portfolio itself. So when you have a portfolio, let's say that has some parallax scrolling or some transitions and things going this way and that way and this way, we're at a state now, we're 2018, we're at a position now, a point now where no one's really impressed with the actual website, right? Uh, no one's going, no recruiter, no hiring manager is going to be impressed with your website. There's so many tools out there uh, that allows you to build websites um, that really, uh, that you can leverage. So we're not looking at the website itself as uh, as an impression in terms of, wow, this is what you can do, right? We're looking at the work. So rather than focus more so on the work, I would prefer you to work more so on your skill and a project, right? Your, your site could be a blank, it could be a, a totally a blank page, all white, just showing your work with your name at the top and a phone number and a link to your resume or your LinkedIn profile, okay? If your work is amazing, the actual site itself, it, it's irrelevant, all right? So just keep that in mind. I'll talk about that more so um, as days and weeks go by because I think um, I need to hit home on that and really, um, I think you need to focus more so on the projects. Go deep in your project, show different states, show your, um, your process, and that's where the key value is. Now, like I said, um, you know, the main thing that you should focus on is the work and then also link to your resume, which is your LinkedIn profile, all right? And that's where 
um, you want to make sure that you update your LinkedIn profile. I talked about this not too long ago, um, maybe a few months back, but uh, how important it is right now um, to stay on top of your LinkedIn profile. Update your photo, show your face, smile, be friendly, be, 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 um, be uh, likable. In your in, in your LinkedIn profile and, and update your profile. Take a look at my LinkedIn profile and, and see what it looks like. See how I uh, explain the companies that I work for and the different things and how I bullet point things. Um, I take some time to really update mine over the last several months, and so uh, take a look at that. Also, YouTube and sales. This is where I want to um, I want to also say that this is where something that you should start dabbling in. A lot. Some of you have taken my advice on this, but. Um, a lot of you still have not. I think what can separate you as you grow through your career, whether you have a UI, UX design job, or you're just now getting started, is your ability to leverage something like YouTube and grow into becoming a salesperson or at least gain the philosophy or the understanding of it's important to present yourself or to learn the skills of sales and marketing in order to really propel you past uh, the average commodity UI UX designer, all right? And so that's where YouTube come in. Um, this is, I've just been thinking about this over the last um, uh, few days, is that YouTube, though I don't make a lot of money on YouTube, or I don't make, pe I make peanuts on YouTube itself through ads and things like that, that's not the point. But the value in YouTube and actually putting yourself out there, recording videos, and actually learning your voice is, is, a timeless it's such an invaluable skill set when you start the process and it takes time to really understand what not to talk about how to talk about things but when you can learn to talk through it onto a camera you become a salesperson basically and you learn the art of persuasion you learn the art of how to present things and how to talk about things and so if you can leverage that in terms of just being able to grow as a salesperson that's also going to benefit you. Now you can start, if you can leverage something like YouTube and learn how to post videos and or get comfortable posting videos, have a video on your portfolio page talking about, hey, hi, I'm Tiffany Jones. I'm a UI UX designer. I love solving problems and check out my website. Just little things like that. That right there makes you more personable, makes you more likable. It bumps your value up way past anybody who's just what we call commodity, you know, UI, UX designers. And so think about starting a YouTube channel. Just, I went to a conference not too, just the last few days and the guy goes, just push record. And that's, that's all he said was press record. It was hashtag press record. And he talked about the importance of building, building your brand. It's so vital. If you just press record, learn your voice, talk, people will get to understand you. You will learn your voice and learn what to talk about and how to talk um, through things. And uh, in my opinion, it makes you, it turns you into a salesperson when you really think sales is not really a, a, a thing that you, you enjoy, but sales is what propels you and gets you higher through your career. So um, just wanted to touch on that. Your portfolio, importance of LinkedIn, leverage YouTube to learn how to talk on camera and learn how to just uh, learn your voice get familiar with recording videos and becoming a salesperson or understanding the importance of sales and marketing. And I think that's going to propel you through your career. If you want to learn more, I'm going to be talking about this more so as days and weeks go by. Uh, but if you want to learn more about what I do and what I teach in UI, UX design, visit my site, mlfcode.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. And uh, as always, if you have a portfolio, you want to ask me any questions, go to my website, use my contact link, contact uh, uh, page, shoot me a question. I'll be happy to answer any questions for you um, when I have time and I look forward to um, talking with you guys soon. All right. Thanks for watching guys. And we'll talk soon. Peace.